Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with even more Mego Vember. This week we take a look at Mego's take on rock and roll legend Jimi Hendrix. Well, I'm super excited, Gorilla. Me too, Jess. I'm looking forward to checking out this figure. I don't care about the doll, Gorilla. I'm excited that we're halfway done with Mego Vember. Raz Holly, hit the music. <laughs> and roll music. Developing from gospel, blues, and country music of the early 20th century, getting its name in the 1950s and responsible for genres to come like metal, punk, and hip-hop, there's no argument that rock and roll music has had a huge impact on popular culture, western civilization, and the world in the years since. And part of that impact is embodied by the one and only legendary Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix began playing guitar at the age of 15, and by the time he was in his early 20s, he was playing gigs for big stars like the Isley Brothers and Little Richard. It wouldn't be long though before he would become a big star himself, releasing the double LP Electric Ladyland in 1968. Two years later, he would pass away at the age of 27, and even though he really only played guitar for 12 years of his life and was a professional musician for considerably less, Hendrix would be remembered as one of, if not the, greatest musician of the 20th century. Mego, the formerly defunct toy maker that burst back onto the scene in 2018, released not one, but two Jimi Hendrix figures. Can they live up to the legend? Probably not. But for $12.99 a pop, how bad could they be? Let's find out and take a look at two Jimi Hendrix figures by Mego. Okay, and from 2019, it is Jimi Hendrix, 8-inch action figure, 14 points articulation, official limited edition action figure with original detail and quality. Marty Abrams presents Mego Jimi Hendrix, and this is Jimi Hendrix from Woodstock. Um, all, however, um, this is the guitar from Monterey, um, and so the, the Woodstock guitar, even in the in the illustration, is a, a cream-colored guitar, and I think comes with the other uh, the other Jimi Hendrix, uh, which was a uh, a right-handed uh, Fender that was uh, strung left-handed uh, for Jimi, and uh, and so yeah, here he is, Jimi Hendrix in the box from Woodstock. God damn, this thing is actually pretty fucking cool looking. You can tell already got a great likeness, a great outfit, nice looking accessories, at least from the outside of the box. We'll see what it looks like once we open it up. But for now, it looks pretty good. He's got little moccasins on. We're gonna figure out what this thing looks like outside of the box, but before we do that, let's take a little bit more of a longer look at the illustration here. This is actually pretty nice. We've got a very nice illustration of the one and only Jimi Hendrix right here on the one side of the box. Everything in, in psychedelic, psychedelic colors, man. man. And it, it looks very, very cool. Um, very, very uh, 60s Woodstock-esque. Um, just of the time, very nice. Uh, you got the Jimi Hendrix logo, music and movies. Um, yep, Woodstock the movie, Woodstock the music, man. Um, that's what it is. Let's turn this box around and see what it looks like. On the back side, we got his backside of Jimi Hendrix looking out on the crowd at, at Woodstock. Um, it's kind of a cool, like, over-the-shoulder sort of uh, uh, low, low, uh, 
<laughs> low focus sort of picture there, but still kind of cool to put the uh, all your really important text. Um, and again, we're we're back to the 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 father of the action figure because of the, hey, this is from 2019, so I really can't blame him. We've got the blurb, we've got the credits, we've got the legal mumbo jumbo, um, and your official licensing, Purple Haze Properties, who owns the likeness rights to the one and only Jimi Hendrix. Um, and uh, this was approved by them. It's official Jimi Hendrix merchandise. And we are gonna take a look and see what he looks like outside of the box. Okay, so here he is. It's Jimi Hendrix out of the box. And we can really take a good look at the outfit here. Starting from the flared jeans. <laughs> that is fucking rad. <laughs> He's got the bell bottom flared out jeans, uh, the, the moccasins, no socks. I don't know if he was wearing socks. So, I mean, you really can't make that argument there. This uh, pleather uh, vest with the with the fringe on it. The fringe is super cool. Goes all the way around on the back. This is actually, as far as Mego outfits are concerned, it's pretty cool. It's not, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna shit on how this ribbon is sticking out like he's like a fucking, like a ninja master in the, in the fucking windstorm um, with the, with the fucking ribbon flowing in the back. It is a separate piece. You might be even be able to remove it. He's got the nice uh, flocked hair on top that's fallen off all over the fucking place and onto his outfit. Um, but other than that, um, pretty goddamn cool. And of course, got all the poses and he can he can do well. Ha! Fucking Jimi Hendrix, Kung Fu. Well, um, pretty dope. Um, one thing he does come with is the guitar. Uh, starting off, very nice. It is a, an approximation of the guitar from the Monterey performance. Um, very, very cool. I don't know if this is the one that he sets on fire. Um, that outfit would have been dope to do um, if you're gonna do another Jimi Hendrix. And I know they did another one. We're gonna look at the other one. Um, if, <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, um, the, he sets the guitar on fire famously at the Monterey Music Festival. Um, you can get him to hold this thing, but it, it takes some real finagling. Um, you might have to use some of uh, Migos' famous clear rubber bands. They should sell those things separately. Um, uh, I'm sure the, the, the Migo heads would eat that stupid shit up. Because if you try to fucking put it in his hand, for one thing, this leather um, thing, you ain't, posing, you ain't posing fucking Jimi Hendrix's arm fucking no, no place. And then when you try to have him hold the guitar... He's just gonna pull it down. So if you try to have him put hold it down with one hand, it's gonna really take some fucking finagling to get it, get this thing in his hand. Um, so this, fuck that. Okay, so now he's Jimi Hendrix without a guitar. He's just sort of Jimi Hendrix about town, um, it, it, hanging out in, in his wood. It's like backstage at Woodstock, fucking smoking a J, fucking uh, Jimi Hendrix. Um, let's look at the the fucking sculpt on the face here. Um, as you get closer in, you can see the mustache. It's like it was painted by a machine. Um, there's like tiger stripes coming off of it, or like a bat wing sort of design. Um, beyond that though, nice sculpt. Paint job, it's a little slapdash. This fucking, the sculpt, the fucking, uh, the stupid hair, the, the, the hair, the, the flocked hair they put on him um, is falling off all over the place. Not a fan of that. But as far as the look of this figure, this figure's fucking amazing. Um, I love this figure. I'm glad I got it. I actually got this from Stankus. I bought it off of Stankus. He had some some uh, new Mego stuff that he was getting rid of. And uh, and I was like, oh, I'll take that Jimi Hendrix. And for the $12.99 that this thing cost at retail, I tell you, um, problems aside, um, this, this thing is, is, is totally, totally worth it. Okay, if it isn't already obvious, <laughs> this figure, here we have another Jimi Hendrix figure. Of course, all of the, the standard bullshit that you're going to see on a Mego box, the 8-inch action figure, 14-point articulation, official edition, 
action figure with original detail and quality. Much ado, signifying fucking nothing. Marty Abrams presents Migo Jimmy motherfucking Hendrix. Oh, and this one is ages eight and up. Back before we knew the, the dangers and horrors of uh, eight inch clothed figures and what they posed to, to, to people under the age of 17. <sighs> so, um, this outfit, obviously based on this outfit, um, I'm not sure if this is the, the Monterey Music Festival outfit. The lighting gets a little bit different here and there, um, but the, obviously you can see the pants there are red. These pants are purple. Um, they are or sort of a, a, a plush, a, a sort of velvet, crushed velvet pants. He's got the pirate shirt um, from, uh, from fucking uh, the purple Dracula. He's got this... The, 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 let's just go ahead. So let's, let's look at the fucking elephant in the room here. That fucking hat. The fucking grandma hat they put on him. It, it does not look like this hat. It looks like this hat. It looks like a fucking... What is this? Is he fucking Miss Muffet? What the fuck is this? The, the, we're going to see it when, we, when it comes out. I'm not, I'm not going to get super upset before I look at the back of the box. Let's look at the back of the box, huh? On the back of the box, we have Jimi Hendrix performing here. Um, and uh, wow. Great looking picture here, but let's look at the, the picture on the front of the box and how fucking pixelated it is. What the fuck, dude? Can we get, can we find better pictures with less pixels on them? Can we, can we, I know that Purple Haze Properties has got to be in, uh, in possession of some better looking or some higher resolution photographs of, of Jimi Hendrix that we can put on a box. Now, I'm not going to keep this box, but I know a lot of people that buy these things do. They keep them in the box, and they display them in the box, and they never open the box. So, the, 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 the point of the fucking box, it needs to look fucking good. And when it doesn't look good, when it looks like shit, when you're just putting fucking rainbow stripes on it for no goddamn reason, it's, it's just, it looks cheap. It looks cheap and fucking lazy, and that... That, that, that might as well be what you put up here instead of 8-inch action figure 14-point articulation. You just put fucking cheap and lazy Marty Abrams presents motherfucking Miko. Let's get this stupid thing out of the fucking box before I get any more pissed off. Okay, so here he is. Let's let's get the fucking guitar out of the way. The guitar is in, it's nice, it's, it's solid, but... Um, maybe because of the, the, the you know, the, the, the stupid shirt isn't as fucking hardcore on the limbs, you might be able to, to finagle him into holding it. You, you might have to use some rubber bands, some glue, some fucking, and do some art, some goddamn crafts to get him to hold it. Um, so there's that. The, the outfit looks fine um, from the, the bottom. We still have the no socks and uh, black moccasins this time. Um, the pirate shirt. Um, and of course, you got these dumb arms that you know, they put on there. There's little metal hooks in there that come popping out and you might have to restring it. And that's a pain in the ass. Otherwise, you've got his little fucking uh, doily belt on there and it looks fine. It looks pretty goddamn legitimate, honestly, with the exception of the fucking hat. What? But, but, but fucking this, it's it's felt. It's just fucking. It's felt felted fucking wool. Like what? What is this? What? 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 We just have a. Why, why couldn't we just have a sculpted fucking Jimi Hendrix head for the other thing? Oh my god. Um. So yeah, this fucking hat. That's garbage. Um. And maybe you, you make a little uh, fucking headband. For this one, and you and you've got a better looking fucking Jimi Hendrix. But the point of that is that I shouldn't fucking have to. I shouldn't fucking have to do customization on figures after I buy them. I should be able to buy them, open it up, put it on a shelf, and call it a fucking Sunday. That's all I should fucking have to do when it, when it comes down to these stupid things. I shouldn't have to fucking be you know restringing and rebuilding and finishing making the fucking action figure and doing what Mego was either too stupid or too fucking lazy to do in the first place. Ha! <sighs> fucking there he is. 
Okay, and so at the end of the day, we have our two Jimi Hendrix Mego figures. And, um, and, and the question is, as always, uh, is it worth the money to spend on these things? At retail, yeah. At retail, you know what, For the, uh, aside from the problems, aside from this one being kind of wonky and kind of weird and kind of like, what the, I never seen Jimi Hendrix wear a fucking um, a Miss Tuffet hat. Like, what the fuck is... Uh, what? Let's get, get that out of here. Fucking, but this figure, this figure is fucking amazing. This figure, it, it has the look, it has the, the iconic feel of, of who it's supposed to be. It looks fucking great. It's, um, it's just a fantastic fucking figure. And, uh, and even the other one at, at fucking retail price, not too shabby. Yes, they're, these aren't the only Jimi Hendrix figures that have existed in the past. Um, but, you know, those McFarlane figures, those were, at the time, were going to be more expensive. I'm I believe those were twenty dollars a piece, and uh, good luck finding those anymore. And then um, I think there was some other ones, some more high-end figures, of course, that were going to be even more expensive. So at the end of the day, if uh, for you know for not too much money, in the same scale as the rest of the Mego universe, you can have a Jimi Hendrix who's uh, who can stand next to Superman and Batman and Spider-Man and Wonder Woman and all your all your fucking friends and and the Waltons and, and everybody else that Mego made, and you can stand Jimi Hendrix right there next to all those guys and that's really what Mego is about that's that's the best thing about Mego is is that you can make these you have all these figures you have the world's greatest superheroes you have all these um, world's greatest whatever the fucks the cowboys and Indians you got the you got the fucking the historical guys and all that stuff and it's all on the same scale and they can all share the same clothes and they all look like like they come from the same fucking universe and and that that really at the end of the day is why Migos uh, these Mego figures are so popular and so beloved and, uh, and and beyond nostalgic value have have real value to people out there and uh, it's too bad because there's a couple little problems that are holding these back from being perfect but other than that I'll say they are worth the money well, that's me go Jimi Hendrix. What did you guys think of these figures? Let us know in the comments down below. Just one more to go. That's right, Jess. Next week is the last episode of Mego Vember and the last episode of the season. Wow, the season finale. What are we doing for this super important episode? Something big, I hope. I don't know. I'll figure it out. What the fuck? Raz Holly hit the music.